coming to Amsterdam's world famous red light district, here are eight things you need to know to enjoy this very special neighborhood without being an If there's one way to describe Amsterdam's relationship with the red light district, it's complicated. Why? Because several very diverse worlds come together there. First of all, it's home to the adult industry. Secondly, it's our oldest district. So actually, our oldest monument, the old church, is in the middle of the district. Thirdly, we live there. And I don't mean students who want to party all the time. No, I also mean couples, elderly people, and families. It's also the reason why in the middle of the red light district, we have a kindergarten. Next to the world's first 5D porn cinema and a brothel. To us Amsterdamers, it's normal. We're used to the red light district. It's part of our city. However, there are people who come here for the first time and they think that it's Wonderland and they can do whatever they want. This is where the problem starts for us. We are here to help you navigate this very special district in a respectful, responsible, but still fun way. So here are our top tips to help you explore the Amsterdam Red Light District. By the way, we're Rachel and Alexandra from Who is Amsterdam. We have a free three-day itinerary that you can download in the link down below. And subscribe to our channel for more awesome Amsterdam content. Now let's dive in. You want to party like it's 1999? We don't mind. But be mindful of the fact that people live there, singing loudly in the street at nine, having a lot of different substances, and then puking into our fellow Amsterdamers' mailboxes. Not cool, guys. And it's giving us a lot of headache. So please, party, have fun, but be mindful that we live here. Yes, sex, drugs, and rock and roll exist in this neighborhood. But there's so much more to that. We have fantastic shops, beautiful restaurants, amazing bars, and the architecture is beautiful. So we definitely recommend taking a walk, especially during daytime, to take it all in and enjoy this neighborhood. What is important to understand as well is that the red light district is just a very small part of Amsterdam. This city is so much more than sex, drugs, and rock and roll. If you're here for the first time, we understand you want to visit it. However, we have amazing other neighborhoods, beautiful museums, a great and fantastic restaurant, guys. So really, we highly can recommend to look further than the red light district. When you walk through the red light district, you will see red lights with our sex workers in the windows presenting the services. Yes, prostitution here is legal, guys. All the sex workers have to register the business, they have to pay taxes, and they're protected by law. And also, very important, they deserve our respect. Do not, do not ever take photos or videos of the sex workers. It's absolutely forbidden. It's rude. This is not a zoo. Would you like it if somebody wants to go to your job and take photos of you without your permission? Mm -mm. It's also really rude to just stand there and just stare or just point fingers at them. So don't do that, guys. They're just regular people doing their jobs. Let's just be normal and walk by them just like we would with other people. What is also considered rude is to stand too long in front of the windows, especially when you don't intend to go inside. Sex workers might therefore get a little bit annoyed because you're blocking their business. If you decide to go inside, know that everything in there is based on consent. And don't forget to pay the full price. Street dealers are out there and sometimes they'll approach you, ignore them and just walk away. It's illegal and the stuff they sell can be fake and dangerous. In the red light district and in Amsterdam in general, we have smart shops where you can buy truffles and coffee shops where you can buy the green stuff. These are safe spaces where you can have knowledgeable staff advise you on what to buy. And lastly, don't mix booze, truffles and Amsterdam coffee. Because trust us, you don't want to end up like this. <laughs> Speaking of booze, in some areas in Amsterdam, you're not allowed to drink alcohol on the streets. And of course, the red light district is one of them. You can of course sit on a terrace and enjoy a nice cold drink, but it's forbidden to walk around in the district with cans and bottles. Otherwise, you might risk a fine of 100 euro. It's not that complicated, guys. Simply drink responsibly. 
This one is common sense. Guys, if you need to get rid of your old drink, do not pee on the streets. Otherwise, you risk a fine of 140 euros. So gentlemen, you have a little bit more options than ladies. You can use our beautiful, unique smelling piss curls, urinals that you see on the street, or hit a bar. For ladies, you can hit a bar as well. Or may we recommend to all of you to use the Sexy Lou. It's the Sexy Lou that was created by the owner of Casa Rosso, Amsterdam's oldest sex theater. For just 250 euros, you get a clean, modern bathroom that looks just like a red light window. Plus, you get a discount at Casa Rosso, so why not? Another very common sense thing is don't throw rubbish on the streets or into the canals. You will also risk a fine of 140 euros and it's very disrespectful to us locals and also of course the environment. Do the right thing and throw your trash into the bin. If you're in Amsterdam and you want to learn more about the district in a respectful way and in person, join us for our Who is Amsterdam walking tour. Otherwise, we can also recommend for you to visit our prostitution information center. Now, want to get behind the scenes of a real-life Amsterdam brothel with a former sex worker? Keep watching. We we'll see you in our next video. If you disobey, you risk a fine of 100 euro. <laughs> and if you disobey, you risk... <laughs> and if you disobey, you pay a fine of 100 euro.